How you doing thanks so much for clicking on my channel and watching this video I like to welcome my new subscribers man it is it's really nice to see the channel do well and grow so I really appreciate the support uh, today we're in Henderson Nevada we're here to uh, visit the gravesite location of Phyllis Davis uh, she paid she played a part of B on the TV series Vegas. I think it ran from 19... How must have been 1978 uh, through 1981. Uh, strange. Uh, once I moved here in Las Vegas, I noticed that when Dan Tana would leave downtown Las Vegas, and in just a short distance, he's turning right into a Circus Circus Casino parking lot. And in reality, that's at least, oh, that's probably a 10 to 15 minute drive. So, the wonders of television. I liked his, uh, I think that Thunderbird was at 1957. A red Thunderbird. In fact, they use several of those in the show in the series. A couple of them were wrecked. Well, the reason why they would film at night is because it gets pretty hot here, June and July. Uh, we get days of 115, 118 degree weather. Even at night, it's it's right around 100 degrees and uh, even in October we'll see 100 degree weather too so that's one of the reasons the series was taped almost entirely in Las Vegas I think there's one episode that was done in Hawaii uh, it's still ran in syndication today you can catch in the reruns. I noticed a lot of the buildings still stand, uh, but some of them are parking lots now. Uh, most of them have been remodeled. But it was a very entertaining show. Dan Tana. Dan Tana. He would make his living uh, busting local criminals and He'd bust casino scams, uh, working closely with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, Phyllis worked, um, she worked as Dan's Girl Friday, and if, if you notice in reruns, yeah, here she is. Here she is, Phyllis Davis. Very pretty. I was starting to say, if you notice in the reruns, uh, some of those episodes, she's playing a uh, Vegas showgirl, too. Make some money, honey. That was her catchphrase that she would tell Dan Tana, make some money, honey. She's originally from Texas. Her family was in the uh, mortician business and she would tell stories of how they had to remain perfectly quiet 
living above the funeral home uh, during the services, had to tiptoe around her and her sisters. Uh, later in life, she works as a flight attendant for Continental. By the way, have you ever seen an ugly flight attendant? So while working as a flight attendant, uh, she gets lots of attention by Hollywood. Uh, she get a hit on by producers, directors, and talent scouts, and just everything else you can just imagine. A pretty flight attendant. And you know you're captive there. You, you can't you can't get away from the trolls. Oh, you should come to Hollywood. You'd be a great actress. You should really do that. But finally, I think it was 1965, uh, she moves to Hollywood and, and she took it seriously. She took uh, acting classes and then Nothing was really happening for her. She was getting discouraged and thought, I've kind of made a mistake and I should probably go back to uh, being a flight attendant. But, you know, she hung in there. Just kept, just kept, uh, kept the patience, kept trying, kept reading for parts. And then finally, uh, she gets a break and I think her first her first acting part was in the movie Bounce, The Big Bounce, actually. Now I think she played in uh, Valley of the Dolls, and she had some parts in Fantasy Island. I remember seeing her. Uh, she was a guest star on Match Game. At Match Game PM, you can catch reruns. If you check out YouTube, you can see her on there, and she's got that pleasant, a chipper personality that people like. Phyllis Davis. She died 2013. Now when she died, there just wasn't much fanfare. I just didn't hear much about it. And I think her family wanted to keep things quiet, or keep it low key I should say. Uh, she was living here in Henderson when she died of cancer at age 73. You know, she never did marry. Never did marry. But she was a long, long time girlfriend of Dean Martin. Phyllis Davis. We all need to be remembered.